In this video, we will look at how we can do division with monomials. To set this up, we will first do a quick review of how long division works, because we will use the same exact process to divide with polynomials. As we divide with long division, we'll first take the 5 into the 26 five times. Notice as we did this, all we truly did was we just divided the front numbers. The second thing we do is we multiply the 5 times the 5 to get 25. What we've done here is we have multiplied our answer by the divisor. The next thing we do is we don't actually use 25, but we change it to negative 25 so we can combine. 26 and negative 25 is 1. What we've truly done here is we have changed the sign on the 25, making it negative, and combine. Next, we would bring down the 3 to make it 13. We bring down the next number. Finally, what we'll do is then we would start dividing the 5 into 13. In other words, we're going to start repeating the process. We divide the front numbers, 5 into 13, twice. We then multiply the 2 by the divisor 5 and get 10. We change the sign on the 10 and combine to get 3. We then bring down the next number, or 2, and repeat the process. We divide 5 into the 32, and it goes in there 6 times. 5 times 6 is 30. Whoops, wrong color. It's multiplying by the divisor, 5 times 6 is 30. And we change the sign and combine to get 2. When there's nothing left to bring down, we say that 2 is the remainder. We use this exact same process in order to divide polynomials. The only difference with a polynomial is that we no longer have numbers. Instead, we'll change the word number to terms. When we do that, we see our process is going to be to divide the front terms, multiply this by the divisor, change the sign and combine, bring down the next terms, and repeat the process. In the next part of this video, we will see how this works, where we divide out a monomial from a polynomial.